Welcome back to Wesnos everyone. Today we'll be talking about the accuracy of the Huawei Watch Fit 3. So it's all great and dandy to have a smartwatch that looks as good as this. 1.82 inch AMOLED display, 100 sport modes, 6 auto detected activities. There is just a lot on this. But at the end of the day, if we care about accuracy and measuring our performance, we want to know how accurate the heart rate monitor on here is, as well as the inbuilt GPS. So I've done those tests and we will be looking at those results today. If you are new to Wesno's tech news and reviews, we talk about the latest tech news. We do brutally honest reviews and share hacks and tricks along the way. So the two tests that I've performed with this tracker are a GPS test as well as a heart rate accuracy test. So yesterday I went off to the gym and I did a 20 minute workout. So I was measuring the heart rate accuracy with the Watch Fit 3 as well as the Polar H10 ECG chest strap. So that will be the benchmark and this one will be the test T. Also, uh, later in the video, we're gonna go through one of my routes during my lunch walks. So as I was walking out of the office, I basically went around a couple of blocks, walked for about 20, 25 minutes, and I was monitoring my walk with the inbuilt GPS on the Fit 3. So we're gonna follow that route and see how the GPS signal did in the city. And in the city, it's not easy, right? Because there are lots of interferences. There are a lot of tall buildings, high-rise buildings. It is central London after all. But we'll get into it after we finish the heart rate accuracy test. So now let's dive in and look at that workout in detail. So these are the results that have come out from the Fit 3. We can see the average reading as 141 beats per minute, but if we look at the max, it's 161 beats per minute. Now, if we bring in the benchmark, the Polar H10 readings, we can see that the average was marked at 140 beats per minute, while the max was 162 beats per minute. So that means there is less than 1% variance on the average as well as the max heart rate readings. Also note the heart rate charts. They look almost identical. I think we can all agree that this little beast right here is very good. Less than 1% difference or variance between the average reading over the 20 odd minutes, as well as just less than 1% difference on the max reading. This is very impressive coming from a watch that costs 150 bucks. Now let's look at the GPS tracker, right? So I'll be taking you through the route I've taken as I've started going around a couple of blocks during my lunch walks. And once again, right, this is in central London, lots of interference. This is not open field. This is right in the city. So let's see how the GPS actually did. So as we can see, as I was walking through for the first 50 to 60% of the route, there are no issues whatsoever. The inbuilt GPS is working very well. It tracks my route well along the streets, there are hardly any skews or bends, it's all along the route I took. Now, somewhere around the 65 to 70% of the route, past I went into a store on the corner of Wilson and Warship Street. Hence the signal got slightly confused and we can see these squiggly lines. From there to the end point, there were some signal interferences, but in general, the route was extremely well recorded. I'm sure you've seen my reviews and my top 12 features of the Huawei Watch Fit 3. If you haven't as yet, I will be leaving the links to those at the end of this video. But what can we say, right? If we sum up the points about this watch, 1.82 inch AMOLED display. We get 100 sport modes, six auto detected activities, stress monitor, sleep monitor, SPO2 monitor, heart rate monitor, inbuilt GPS. There's even inbuilt storage for your media and whatnot, right? So if you do wanna go out for a run or some exercise without your phone, you don't need the phone. You can actually store media right on this watch. You've got broadcasted activities. You can broadcast your heart rate, your performance metrics. It has guided workouts. It's got animated workouts for your warm-ups and your cool-downs. This watch is a beast in terms of sport watch features, smart watch features, and it looks great. This is completely aluminium alloy. And again, there's so many strap options. Like I've got this on the Valker strap. This is serious stuff. There's a lot of optionality with a very budget tracker. 
So am I impressed with the Huawei Watch Fit 3? Of course I am, because for 150 bucks, you are getting plenty. But let me just tell you that the 150 bucks, that's the high street price or the Amazon price. If you're gonna get this watch from AliExpress, where I get most of the trackers I actually review, you will probably get it for as low as 100 bucks, maybe $110. So we're talking about 30, 40% cheaper. And that's usually the case with many of the Chinese manufactured trackers. So I'll be leaving a link to the listing where I picked up this watch from in the description below the video. So check it out if you're after some sharp prices. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.